Hey guys, in this video we are going to do a couple things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk really quick about standard form and slope intercept form again. And then I'm going to talk about the assignment that you have for class today. So, to review, standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers. So that's the standard form of a linear equation of a line. You also learned about slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope, and B is your y-intercept. We talked about how to go from standard form into slope-intercept form. Well, you can also go from slope-intercept form into standard form. Naturally, every equation can be manipulated to become something else. So let's talk about how we would switch the steps for switching from, uh, from slope-intercept into standard form. So let's say you have slope intercept form of y equals negative one half x plus three. So here's a line, slope is negative one half, y intercept is three. And I want this line to be rewritten into standard form, okay? So notice how in standard form, x and y are on the same side of the equation and the constant c is over uh, by itself. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to move the one, negative one half x to the other side. So we end up with one half x plus y is equal to three. We are so close to getting it to look like standard form. The difference is that a, b, and c are integers, which means no fractions. Can't have fractions in standard form. Integers are not fractions. So what do we do? Well, to get rid of the fractions, I am going to multiply the entire problem by a common denominator, by a least common denominator, so that my fraction will go away. Since my fraction is 1 half, if I multiply the entire problem by a whole number 2, that 1 half will go away. It will become 1. But you can't just multiply one thing you have to multiply the entire equation because it's a balance. So each term will be multiplied by two, which will leave me with one X plus two Y is equal to six. And there is the standard form of this equation that was given to us in slope intercept form. So to recap, I moved the negative one half x to the other side because in standard form, x and y are on one side together. And then to clear my fraction, I multiplied by a common denominator. So you multiply by that denominator so that the fraction will then two times one half clear itself. But you can't multiply just one term, you have to multiply every term. So that's how you go from slope intercept form into standard form and you already know how to go from standard form into slope intercept form we've already done that so again i just taught how to go from slope intercept form to standard form now i'm going to go through the instructions for this assignment one thing i want you to know is that every line has standard form and slope intercept form and every line is represented also by a table of values these are some of the values that meet the requirements of the line. So they're points on the line, X's and Y's that make different points that then get connected to form a line. Lines also have X intercepts and Y intercepts. Lines also have slope. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be completing each of these missing components using the clues that are given. So for example, in this first box, you're given the standard form. Can you find the slope intercept form? Yes, you can. Can you find missing points? Well, yes, you can. If you know that y is zero, can you plug zero in to find the missing x? If you know that x is zero, can you plug that in to find the missing y? If you know that x is one in the line, can you plug that in to find the missing y? And so on and so forth. Once you have points, can you plot those points to graph the line? Could you have graphed the line using slope-intercept format? Sure. 
Do you know your x-intercept and y-intercept? I think you probably have them right here once you find that x and y. Do you know the slope of the line? And in each box, you're given different clues. So notice how in box two, you're actually not given the standard form or the slope intercept form, but you are given some points. So how could I use those points to create the graph to then get the information I need to build the rest of the box and the missing pieces? I would like you to work together this is um, going to require a lot of conversation and a lot of collaboration with your team. So make sure you're sitting in your assigned seats with your assigned team and you may begin and work together. And this is due by the end of the period. Thanks for watching.